I've mostly been using Tango to create um, like standard operating procedures uh, for our SEO blogs. We use WordPress Gutenberg. So there's a lot of things with like different types of blocks. And we've created these um, reusable blocks. There's like three different types. So I, I, I'm able to take like screenshots of what those look like and how to put them in the block. But then I'm also able to like add the comments like, hey, these are the four types and these are, you know, this is when you should use each of these. Um, so it was really fun. The first one I made, I think it took like over 100 screenshots while I was just going through the process. And I was like, wow, this is like very extensive. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was able to then put it in our confluence very easily. Um, share it with the team. I impressed all of them. And then I was like, it was really easy. I used Tango. <laughs> See, the first one I did took me maybe 20 minutes and it was a hundred over a hundred images. Um, if I'd have done that with a screen grab, it would have taken forever. Like, and if I even like recording it would have taken multiple sessions to do like recording and talking through all of the steps. Um, and then it's also like a living document. So if things change, I don't have to re-record it. I can just go back in and edit it and add in like additional clarification that I forgot the first time. Probably if I if I hadn't used Tango, I would have like rec done a screen recording um, and I would have had to do it like four or five times because I would have botched something while I was talking and I would have to go back and re-record it. Um, and then I, I've also learned like one of our one of our agencies that we work with, they only send us instructions via video and the, it's it's a a little bit annoying for me that I have to watch this like 10 minute video rather than just being able to like scan and find the thing that I'm looking for. So I like that aspect of it as well. Like I can, sure, I can record a video if people want a video or I can jump on a call with them and walk them through it. But when they want to reference back to something, they're typically stuck at like one point of the process and being able to like see a, a table of contents of like all the steps and just click down to the thing that they need is much better than trying to like find it in a video. One of my favorite features is the ability to like tack on uh, additional steps to an existing project. Um, so if I forget about something or a process changes, I can just do a quick recording of that new step or new process and then add it to the project uh, and then drag it, drag it and drop it wherever it needs to go. Um, in the process document. So I, for the internal employees, I'll I'll either just send them the link or I'll put it in Confluence. And then for the external employees, I'm I'm doing the copy to HTML and putting it in uh, a Google Doc so that I can give them access to that. So when I created the Confluence page, I used the magic copy link um, and copy and pasted all of the steps into that new page. And then I added the table of contents feature that Confluence has. So there at the top, it's got all 65 final steps and you can click and it jumps down to the screenshot and instructions.